Hello again and welcome to Two Point Perspective. If you haven't watched the One Point Perspective um, video, I would strongly re recommend that. Um, it'll just give you a better idea of what's going on. Okay, today we're going to be doing a um, kind of a cityscape and we're going to start out by just kind of finding our horizon line. It's just going to be a straight line going um, across the paper. It's eye level. It's imaginary line right now and it's just going to have two dots on it which will be our two vanishing points and a pretty typical um, view of a two-point perspective is going to be looking at a corner of an object uh, in this case it's going to be a building and you're going to see from that building you're going to see the left and right side of it or front and side of it with two-point perspective um, everything going to the left is going to go to the left um, vanishing point and everything going to the right is going to go to the right vanishing point. You can um, continue with those lines and make them all the way, but I'm going to make a couple different buildings. And right now I'm just drawing the rooftops and I'm just going to give it a little bit of varying heights just to give it a little bit more interest. And I'll go ahead and do the buildings to the right. Again, this is coming off the, the front building is the corner of the building and it'll make a little bit more sense when I get everything drawn in here but um, just drawing the ropes right now and they always have to go to that vanishing point okay even though they kinda look odd right now and they're getting smaller because they're getting farther away that's correct now I'm gonna start um, bringing the the buildings aside the ends of the buildings all the way down and bring them I don't know about even with the uh, the corner of the building you'll be doing some erasing but it's better to go a little bit longer than too short. Each one of those um, buildings, we know buildings, the walls of buildings will go straight up and down so the lines are going to have to go straight up and down as well. As things go away they go towards the vanishing point when they go up and down. Um, for two point perspective it's going to be um, up and down as well parallel to the corner building. Again, for the other side, I'm just bringing them straight down, parallel to the corner of the building. When um, I start to do the rooftops, um, you'll only be able to see like one or two rooftops, but um, they are going to be going to the opposite um, vanishing point. So they're going to be going to the right, so it has to go to that right vanishing point. It goes all the way through those buildings. I'm not going to draw a line through them, but I am going to... Um, get my ruler out so I'm accurate and I'm just gonna have that little little mark about a quarter inch long and uh, one more down there to the vanishing point and do the same thing on the other side what this is gonna do is it's gonna start making our buildings look a little bit more 3d these are the little tiny details that um, really make um, you know things look realistic or um, define what you're actually trying to do now on the bottom line, um, you're going to run it straight from the bottom of the building corner, the main corner post that we started with, all the way to the horizon line, or the vanishing point. What that's going to do is just give us a stopping spot for all the buildings. We know that the buildings are all on the same level of ground, so we're just going to run that line from the corner post all the way to the vanishing points. Once you have your two um, bottom lines, you can go back in and erase um, the horizon line that you're not going to be able to see um, because the buildings are in the way, and some of the lines that are overhanging um, in certain areas. Just kind of clean it up a little bit before you go on. We're going to put a little sidewalk in um, at the bottom, and how we're going to do this is just coming straight down from the corner about a quarter of an inch or however you want to do it you're going to run that point all the way to the two vanishing points okay it should be getting bigger to smaller as it goes back if you've done it correctly and then the the kind of the cracks on the sidewalk or the the cuts in the sidewalk are going to be going to the vanishing point to the left on the right side and 
on the left side, they'll go to the right. They will also get smaller as they go back farther. And eventually you can just um, do a little shading. Once you're farther, far enough away, you don't have to really worry about um, seeing any kind of cracks. Same thing on the left side. You're going to use that vanishing point and just kind of rotate your ro ruler around. And again, it's, it's up to you how loose or tight of um, drawing that you're doing um, to use a ruler or not. When putting in doors, doors are going to be the same as the walls. They'll go straight up and down when they go upward, but when it goes across or away from you, it's got to go to that vanishing point. It's not going to be that large of um, you know downward um, line, but it's it's going to be a little bit of slant to it. And then the the vertical lines are all going to be straight up and down. Same with windows. Windows, um, kind of the best way to go about doing the windows is just doing one side first just the straight lines up and down and then you kinda get your spacing as well from there um, you can determine how far over you want your windows to go they all have to go towards that vanishing point just like the door I'll do one on top too, just to show you the um, difference in the directions of the windows and how it has a little bit more curve to it and the farther it goes up. Or an angle, not curve. Same thing on the left. Doors are going to go towards that vanishing point and the vertical lines are all going to be parallel. I'm not going to do all the windows, but um, you can kind of just keep repeating this action and always go towards those vanishing points. Now if you want to add any kind of uh, little details or things on the sidewalks, um, an easy way to do that as well is you would start out with your first one and from that object, kind of get the size of position you want for that object, go make a real light line going from the top of that object all the way to the vanishing points and what you did there is just made a guide for yourself and so you know how tall to make the rest of them. The spacing is going to get smaller and smaller of course the farther away it gets and eventually like I said you might not see any or they would just end. Um, this works for lights, uh, trees, if you had a row of trees or bushes um, it really works for anything that is um, going away from you. Fence posts. And even if you don't make them all evenly spaced, you can make them all the same height by just um, creating that line. This tree and this tree are the exact same height in, in person, but on the paper it's going to be much smaller. This is a two-point perspective uh, demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit, and thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just let me know.